Great Britain, and Great Britain is great because black people made it great, man. Black people cut cane, so Britain can be great, man. Britain, you call it Great Britain, but what's great about it? What's great? The zoo, the zoo is a great place, but it's not a great place for the tiger behind the cage. The zoo is a great place, but it's not a great place for the monkey behind bars. And Britain is a great place. Look at it, man. It's a great place, but it's not great for black people. It's not great for Rashawn Charles, who was choked to death by the police, man. It's not great for Mark Duggan, who was gunned down by the police, man. It's not great for all the windrush generation that was dicked home, man. It wasn't great for them, man. Because, black man, I love you when you're angry, man. I want you angry, man. Black man, I want you so angry that you go home and put the weed down, man. I want you so angry that you go home and come out and talk to man. I love you when you're angry, man. I just want to come out here for, man. Christ said he did not come out here to send peace, man, but come out here for a sword, man. That's what we come out here to do. We come out here to do that, man. I love to see my people angry, man. I want you so angry, black man, that you come out of these churches, man. I-S-U-P-K. Shalom, shalom. This is Callum L from London, UK, all the way to the US of A. Listen, subscribe to ISUPK. I'm always on that channel checking out the new knowledge that ISUPK is dropping. Sean Charles, who was choked to death by the police, man. It's not great for Mark Duggan, who was gunned down by the police, man. It's not great for all the windrush generation that was dicked home, man. It wasn't great for them, man. And guess who did all this to black people? Good old Christians did it. Good old Christians did it. And I'm, and I'm racist. I'm racist. I speak about what the people do to me. You do actions, man. Who have I ever whipped? Who have I ever whipped? I've never dropped a bum on any country, man. But Christians do. I've never stole people's oil. I've never put no one on the bottom of slave ships, but Christians did. Christians did. No one on this globe has my last name. You know why? Because I've never owned a slave. But black man, every black man got a white man's surname. You know why? You know why? Because a white man owns your people. And guess what? That white man was a Christian. He was a Christian. If you're a Catholic and you're a black man, shame on you, man. Shame on you, man. If you're a black man, you're a Christian, shame on you, man. The Pope, the Pope himself in the 1600s said it was good to have black slaves, man. And I'm wrong. And I'm wrong. And I'm wrong. The Christians want to come against me. They want to come against me. In the Bible, in the King James Bible, it said Christ is a black man. Drop that. Give me Revelations one on one. Someone get me this picture right here, man. I'm racist. In the Bible, it said Christ is a black man. And they gave you this. Christ is a black man. But black man, they gave you this. They gave you this. This is racism, man. The Bible said Christ is a black man, but they told you no, he's white. That's racism, man. Give me Revelation 1 and 1, nice and loud, man. Read. Book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his son. From the top, from the top. Revelation 1 and 1 in the New Testament for all you Christians, yeah? Read. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus. Of who? Of Jesus. Of who? Of Jesus. And this is the revelation, the revealing of Jesus Christ. The word revelation means to make known, man. Now give me verse 14 real quick, man. The Bible's about to make known how Christ looked like. And Christ didn't look like this. He didn't look like this. And if it didn't matter what color Christ was, then why did your people change it, man? If it didn't matter what color Christ was, then it mattered to somebody because someone changed it, man. Read that for me, Verse 14. His head and his hairs 
Bro, what? Like wool? Like what? Like wool? The Bible says Christ's hairs were white and woolly, man. And there's only one nation of people on the face of the earth that has woolly hair, and this man don't have it. This, this man don't have it. Get yourself a dictionary in the 1600s and look up the word wool. And the definition is the texture of Negro hair. That is the definition of wool, man. This man ain't got that. This man ain't got that. Someone changed it, man. Someone who was really racist changed that, man. Read. As white as snow. And Christ's hair was white as well, man. This man don't have white hair. This man's hair ain't woolly and it ain't white, man. Keep reading. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Keep reading. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. And his what? And his feet. And his feet, man. Your feet have skin on it, man. And every man's skin has a color, man. And the skin on Christ's feet, read. Like unto fine bark. What color is it? Like unto fine bark. What color was it? Like unto fine bark. And brass is brown, man. Brass is brown. Brass, get a one pence out of your pocket, man, and tell me what color it is. The Bible says Christ's feet was the color of brass. So what color does that make his face? Brown also, man. What color does that make his torso? Brown also, man. So who the hell is this, man? Who's this, man? Only someone racist will read this in the Bible and change it. Only someone racist will read what I just read and change to this. This is racism, man. Not me. Not me. I'm speaking what you call truth. I did not write this Bible. This Bible was out here long before I was born. Written long before I was born. Translated long before I was born, man. Keep reading. As if they burnt. If they what? They burnt. If they what? They burnt. And the Bible said Christ was so dark, it's like he burned. If you burn anything, what color, it, what color does it turn, man? You can burn white rice, man, and it will come out dark. And the Bible said Christ was so dark, it's like he burnt in a furnace, man. And that's where that religion belongs, man. Call it that religion. Black people love people that look like this and hate their own people, man. Love them and hate their own people, man. We think that all we have is drug dealers and goons and nothing can go come out of us, man. Little do we know a black man walked on water, man. Little do we know a black man made the blind see, man. A black man made a man in a wheelchair jump out of his wheelchair, man. And because we don't know that, we hate each other, man. And thanks to Christianity, we love people that look like this and hate our own people. Hate our own people, man. Black people love Caucasian people. Meanwhile, hate their own people, man. Hate their own people, man. And you can find that image for that. You can find Christianity for that, man. And when they come up here, they want to say, I'm racist. I'm what's, I'm what's wrong with the world. Excuse me. Last time I checked, the NHS is messing up. Last time I checked, the pound crash. Last time I checked, the Eastern Europeans are coming into England like crazy. You got bigger problems, man. But when a black man comes out here and teaches other black men to love each other, they got to stop that. We can't have that. And I'm going to tell you why, black man. I'm going to tell you why. This whole world is funded on the fact that black people hate each other. The fact that you hate each other, you keep, you keep policemen in a job. You keep prison warders in a job. You keep judges in a job, man. You're the reason why they make how much K a year? How much make a year? About 60K a year. Because you can't love your brother, man. Because you can't stop knifing your brother. You're the reason why judges get paid for locking you up, man. You're the reason why police get paid for chasing you around Aston and beating you with a baton, man. You're the reason why prison warders get paid, man. But in the Bible, it says to love your brother as you love yourself. And who's your brother? Your fellow black man. And if you love him, guess what, black man? Police will be in McDonald's tomorrow, man. Judges will be in McDonald's tomorrow, man. So God forbid you love your brother and stop killing each other, man. They don't want that. They don't want that. And that's why the fun churches. And that's why these white man's out here now. Because they want you to remain criminals, black man. They want you to remain criminals. They want that mortgage paid. They want that mortgage paid, man. They want their life insurance paid, man. And in order to do that, black man, they got to get you to hate yourself. They got to push this image here. They got to push the image here, black man, because they got a mortgage to pay. They want to pay for their... You're the reason why their kids go to Oxford University, man. You're the reason why their kids go to Westminster University, man and Cambridge University, man. And that's why they got keep on the bottom. Religion is the destruction of every black man, Hispanic man, and Native Indian, man. That's the facts, man. Look at the, look at the facts. Look at the facts, man. White people are predominantly Christian. White people are predominantly Christian. And Christianity is a good religion for white people, man. Look at them, man. They're all united. They love each other. They're all one. Arabs are predominantly Muslim, man. That's a good religion for them, man. They're united, they love each other. But black man, you're Christian and Muslim. Rastafarianism, religion divides you, man. It divides you. In one household, you have one Rasta, man. One Egyptologist, one agnostic, one Christian. It don't make you strong. It don't make you strong. It divides your family. It breaks your family. You know what, black man? The weird and Jews of the Bible, man. They walk in blindness, man. Give me two times 20 and 15. The book of Deuteronomy 28, 15, real quick, man. You say nothing, man. 
Blah, man. We've proven it to be a liar, man. I've proven it to be a liar already, man. Is Price keeping him here? No, sir. Do try me 28 and 1, 20 and 15. Blah, man, your history's in his Bible, man. They tell you don't matter what color you are, man. But who do I see suffering? I don't see everyone suffering. I don't see everyone suffering. Police brutality ain't towards everybody. The knife ray ain't high towards everybody. Everyone don't grow up without their father, man. But black people do. Everyone ain't lost, but black people are. So they talk about humanity, but humanity ain't suffering, man. Humanity ain't suffering, man. And let me tell you something, that statement is racist. That is the most racist statement in the world. I'm out here telling you black man you suffer. And any man that goes, what well, everyone suffers, that is a racist statement. You know what he's saying? You know what he's saying? He's saying, shut up about that man. We don't want to hear about black people suffering. All people suffer, man. But black people suffer? What he should say is, you know what, you're right. Black people do suffer. Any man that says, but all people suffer? Translation, he's saying, shut up man. We don't want to hear that. He said, oh, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> they say, Black men started something called Black Lives Matter and the white man turned around and said all lives matter. That's saying basically, shut your mouth man, we don't want to hear that. But if all, if all lives matter, why is the only black people getting gunned down by the police in America man? Last time I checked, Rashawn Charles was a black man. Last time I checked, Mark Duggan was a black man. So how does all lives matter? I don't see all lives suffering. I don't see drugs in a Chinese man neighborhood man. I don't see drugs in Oxford man, but I see it in black man's neighborhood though. And any man telling you, but God is all people, that's a racist statement to make, man. Do 28, 15. It's because you're telling me, you 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. That's the problem, black man. We got to hearken unto the voice of God, man. We hearken to pastors too much. We hearken to pastors too much. We hearken to opinions too much, man. This man right here calls himself a man of God. But let me ask you something. You've been out here half an hour. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Are you a man of God? You're a man of God. Let me ask you a question. 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 Where's your Bible? You don't have one, I know. I know you don't have one. You've been out here for half an hour and you've been speaking what's in your mind. A man of God don't speak what's in his mind. A man of God speaks what God wants. A man of God speaks what God wants, man. That's why we got a Bible open. We can Black man, I love you when you're angry, man. I want you angry, man. Black man, I want you so angry that you go home and put the weed down, man. I want you so angry that you go home and come out of your church, man. I love you when you're angry, man. And this is what I come out here for, man. Christ said he did not come out here to send peace, man, but come out here for a sword, man. That's what we come out here to do. We come out here to do that, man. I love seeing my people angry, man. I want you so angry, black man, that you come out of these churches, man. I want you so angry that you see your pastor for what he is, a liar. That's what your pastor is, a liar. King Hello. 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 Commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. And God gave us rules that we must follow, black man. I watch so many rules, man. A man must have a beard. The Bible said a man must have a beard. So where's your beard, pastor? Where's your beard, pastor? The Lord gave a man a beard for a reason, man. To distinguish masculinity from femininity. There's two people that don't have a beard, that's a woman and that's children, man. Two people don't have beards, and those are women and children and pastors, so like, yeah. and Christians, and Christians. Christian, you're a man trying to be a woman, man. You're a man trying to be a woman, man. You're a feminine man. What man don't want a beard? What real man don't want a beard, man? What real man don't want a beard, man? Disgusting, man. Disgusting, man. And we go to them churches, and you got soft men like this raising our sons, man. Raising our sons with no beard, some smooth face, man. Uh, you know, ain't no more, ain't no more beautiful when you go home to your wife and she's stroking that beard, man. And this man here got no beard. I'm gonna tell you this, man. Only women are supposed to be smooth, man. Only women are supposed to be smooth, man. Ain't nothing more powerful when a man goes home to his wives. In my case, it's four, man. In my case, it's four, man. And you go, you go home and stroke your beard, man. Ain't nothing more masculine than your pastor wants a smooth face. He wants to be a woman, man. I come up here with that, That's why he had to leave, man. He can't come up here and get here against real men. This man right here is a real man. Carry one, real man. Mawasa, real man. Russia, real men right here, man. Then you got the pastor, then you got the pastor right here, man. From the feminist section, we're gonna this one. We're gonna this one first. I had it over here, so I Now, listen good now. What he's teaching was taught in slavery. Now, here's the problem. It sounds nice, it sounds good. But in the 1600s, 
Slave Masters taught exactly what he taught. God loves everyone. Forget the past. It was Christian that castrated black men. It was Christian that raped poor black women as they cried their eyes out, man. And they taught exactly what he taught. You ain't hearing nothing new. Listen, the Christian religion has taught black people a lie. Meanwhile, in reality, you don't see it, man. You're taught God loves everyone. Meanwhile, in Jamaica, you was picking cane, man. You was picking cotton. And in your ears, you were taught God loves everyone. Meanwhile, he was saying, yes, boy. Come here, boy. So hang on, so how does God love, how does God love everyone if, if in your eyes, I'm nothing, man? It don't make sense. Christianity is a deceitful religion. And I'm gonna explain why. While you're taught one thing, they show you something else. They teach you God loves everyone. Meanwhile, in Jamaica in the 1600s, they made black men work for free. And when that black slave could not work no more, they killed him. History, in fact, when that slave was 80, they lynched him, they shot him, they fed him to the dogs. Meanwhile, they taught God loves everyone. God doesn't see color. Meanwhile, they call black people wogs. They said, wog, get back on the jam jar. I'm making this up. If it's not historically accurate, and it is true, and that's the problems, Christians hate the facts of what they've done. And meanwhile, while they taught that religion, their actions have been evil. They taught you God loves everyone, and in slavery raped black women as they cried their eyes out, man. And then that baby that was born, they used to lynch that baby. I got the records. So what are we talking about, man? You're saying one thing, but your actions speak otherwise. And that's the problem. If you're a black man in the Christian church, shame on you, man. If you're a black man in Sunday service, shame on you, man. You're following a slave religion. You're following a religion that was whipped into your backs, man. You're following a religion that was raped into your women, man. And that's the problem. Do you want to know why black people can't help themselves? Because for hundreds of years, you were taught God loves everyone. I can't be racist. I can't love my people. Meanwhile, it's natural. Listen. I don't wrong anyone for loving their own race of people. It's natural. How does your race sustain itself? It's natural. It's natural for a white man to get with a white woman. He wants to preserve his race. But what happened with black people? We had Christianity in our minds. Well, I gotta love everyone. It don't matter. God don't see color. Meanwhile, nobody else believes that. Arabs don't believe that. Arabs, they convert you. And guess what? Amongst them, they don't believe it. I've got articles where top sheikhs in Arabia say a black man cannot even really, he cannot even really be a part of that religion right there. And they say like black people Islam. That's a joke. And guess what? In, and guess what? In England, they convert you knowing that if you were to live outside of there, you wouldn't survive. They wouldn't accept you under Islam. Even, even under that religion right there, they enslaved you, man. In Mecca, it was traditional to take, it was, it was a normal thing to take you along with them and to have you as a manslave. In Mecca, while they done their hajjs, they would take black slaves up in Mecca, the holy city, they call it. So what are we doing, man? Why are we following these religions when historically they have been the oppression and the destruction of black people, man? I'm a lion. I'm a lion. Is this something you can't research? Is this something you can't find for yourself? So what does the black man do? As a black man, you're gonna find out who you are, man. And you ain't just African, you ain't just West Indian. I mean, I've got the books and I've been reading them all day. Africans did not sell their own people. Africans sold Israelites and I got the books. I can prove it. Anyone ask me, I will show you. Even scholars on West African history, so West African history say Africans sold Shemitic black Jews. Africans did not sell their own people. You migrated in Ghana, Mali, Nigeria, and you being on their land, you was easier to be enslaved. And that's what they did. They sold the Israelites, the real Jews. Up. They sold us to and them, man, to serve slavery in the West Indies. And that's history that no one never wants to talk about. That's history that scholars don't know about, man. And people that take some time out of their busy life and do research on West Africa, they'll go, that's a lie. Africans did not sell their own people. Africans sold the Israelites, man. Africans sold the people of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. 
And that's a truth that no white man wants you to know. He's comfortable with you thinking Africans sold their own so that when he has news like, well, I didn't do nothing wrong, your own people did it. Meanwhile, historically, that's incorrect. African sold Jews, man, and we are the ISUPK, and we're gonna be here next week, waking up more black people, telling the truth in the Bible and in history. My whole life was trying to find something to follow. Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow. Felt pain. And a lot of sorrow got betrayed, so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit That's hereditary from oppression Felt like my life was on fire, trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good record Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No calling can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord Got a tongue like a two-edged 